local late-breaking coverage for Greater Louisville continues right now. Genetic research proves it's not just our outward appearances that can display our ethnic origins. Some of our bodily functions, like digestion, are also structured based on several things like genetics. So could all of this play a key role in which foods are good for us and which are not? And Bowden has more on the question and a genetically based dietary supplement that has some in the medical field talking. In many ways, we're different on the outside and inside according to our ethnic origin. There are differences in the way we um, metabolize foods in some situations. I'm thinking of um, lactose intolerance. There are some ethnic groups who may be deficient in the enzyme lactase. Can this also be the case for other foods? That question came up after the World Health Organization released a report linking the world's declining health to cultural groups falling away from their traditional native foods. Diabetes, heart disease, cancer, those same issues because the diet is changing away from traditional foods. Some medical professionals say that could mean the foods that are best for us are the foods from the region of our ethnic origin. But today, our diets are a smorgasbord of processed foods affecting good digestion, which can be toxic. The toxicity spills over into your blood and that results in high cholesterol, plaque, you know, atherosclerosis, um, and that gets into blood pressure, kidney issues, you know, diabetes, the whole nine yards. But a company out of Miami is producing a dietary supplement that has caught the eye of some medical physicians. My Genetics focuses on helping various ethnic groups get back to their dietary roots and improve their digestive health. The power to this is harvesting in regions that we are all basically originating from is, is it makes sense if you if you really start to, to do the math. The supplements come in four different ethnic blends, Asian, European, African, and Hispanic. The organic factor, the more that I read, the more fascinated I became. Using plant and fruit extracts from the region of those ethnic blends, the supplement focuses on using the natural vitamins and plant enzymes that help break down foods, including the amaranth plant, that is known to be a good source of vitamin A, calcium, iron, and B6, among other nutrients. The idea is to keep that intestine functioning 100%. You, you want it to move regularly, and you want it to be able to digest food appropriately, and you want a healthy intestine. As medical professionals, we saw the, the value in this immediately. On their website, it states the supplements also include probiotics or good bacteria and eight simple sugars which help our cells communicate to boost our immune system. Yes, absolutely. I was skeptical because I've never seen anything that was tailored for any one genetic group. Everything is, you know, one size fits all. Amazette and Charles Houston have been taking the African blend. I guess my first results that I got from the, from the pill was probably my body fluids, my body functions just almost changed in a, in a day or so. And for Anna Zett, who is a cancer survivor, she said her body felt rejuvenated. So at that point, I just became extremely thankful to have this product in my life because we hadn't really done anything different and to get those types of results. While my genetics states it's made in an FDA-approved facility, it does not have FDA backing and doesn't claim to cure any diseases. But the results and testimonials are getting noticed. Both the Houstons and doctors Gary and Christy Green did their research before trying this product. Ann Bowden, WOKY News. Thank you, Ann. We can help you research the World Health Organization study. Just log on to our website, WLKY.com, and look in the special reports section of our homepage to find the link and for to get more information. Now, your WLKY weather with Chief.